He's got a strange nickname and an amazing eye for hey. art and music. Combined, a local man has taken his talent for drums to a whole new artistic height. Bay News 9's Jody Lowry has a look. Creating what Sean Lowry calls the spaceship didn't just appear overnight. He started dreaming about building elaborate drum cages at only I've six years been, uh, old. I've been an artist since I was a kid, and my dad's a, he's a welder by trade, so I've obviously always built things all the time. A love of art, drums, and welding eventually earned Sean a strange nickname from former bandmates. That nickname? Mr. Sawblade Head. When they just decided to put together this mannequin with a sawblade head, and that's what they nicknamed me, it was Mr. Sawblade Head, and it's stuck ever since. Another idea that stuck with Sean was the idea for this 50 piece, 500 pound steel vine like sculptured drum cage. He started drawing the concept for the unnamed artwork as a kid, but just recently turned the dream into a reality. The envision that I had when I was a kid was. You know, if you put the drum kit in the ground and centuries later, it somehow it, it breathed life into it and it came alive. And obviously music is alive. That's how I wanted to, I just wanted something that was obviously very sinister looking. And he got it, but only after it took months to build in his backyard. During the harsh Florida heat, he even suffered heat stroke several times. Then there was mother nature. And this is the giant lightning rod. So I, I mean, I heard the thunder booms. I'm like, ah, maybe I get an extra half hour. I'll go ahead and do it, and I'll like, start covering stuff up. The intricately welded structure holds the drum kit, the platform, and even uses the branch-like structures to support the cymbals, mics, and lights. It has spent time on display at Clearwater's Sam Ash Music Store, and then Sean says he'll play it on special occasions. But he hopes to eventually turn this passion into a booming business one day. That's that's kind of the whole goal. Is to continue making music and, and making art, you know, for you know, the day I die. Jody Lowry, Bay News 9. You can find out more about Sean and his creations by going to our website. Just log on to baynews9.com and click on the story.